like we were blindsided because we had absolutely no clue. Stephanie Stewart has been employed by DPW for more than eight years and stayed on board, she says, for the job security. It was a job that I started from the bottom and I worked my way up learning different skills that I never thought I'd be doing. Now she and more than 60 other DPW workers responsible for meter readings, maintenance and field work documentation are set to be laid off. This after last week, the mayor and acting DPW director said a change needed to be made. The city will contract the work out to water resource company ITRON. How can ITRON train to put meters in, but then take the jobs away from these employees? How can ITRON get another contract if the current meters are not working correctly. City Union of Baltimore President Antoinette Ryan Johnson says the meters are faulty, not the workers, and that ITRON has had a history of improperly installed meters. She says they subcontracted out that work. Meter operations is not the problem. If the meters were working correctly, they would have need not needed to be replaced multiple times over. This is a system that needs to be rebuilt from top to bottom. You cannot piecemeal that. Council President and Democratic nominee for Mayor Brandon Scott has a different opinion than Mayor Young. He's calling for a complete overhaul of the system and to keep the workers. He says the mayor never consulted with him before making his decision. Now we reached out to both the mayor's office and DPW. DPW referred us to the mayor's office. A spokesperson for the mayor told us the following. This is a move to improve efficiency and processes within the meter shop. We will work with the affected staff to try and place them in new positions, but we cannot guarantee all will be placed. The mayor and DPW claim that this move will save the city more than $50 million over the next five years. We're live downtown tonight. I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL, TV 11 News.